Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now this is tugboat Herman King, 30 meters long, weighing up to 329 tons and has a pulling capacity of 67 tons. In today's video, we'll be looking at the engine that makes this tugboat such a beast. This is MTU 4000 series engine. It has 12 cylinders with a V configuration. Idling speed of 600 RPM, a max rated speed of 2100 RPM. This engine's rated power is 2720 kilowatts or 3647 horsepower. It runs off straight diesel and it uses direct injection with electronically controlled injectors. For this marine application, two of these engines are installed in the tugboat. So you could say double the power, double the fun. It also has a sequential exhaust turbocharging system, which means the turbocharger on bank A operates at idle speed to about 1500 rpm and then the turbocharger on bank b will then operate this powerful engine is commonly used in power generation common rail system and marine applications providing the necessary power to navigate the seas and towing operations today we'll be taking a closer look at the engine and some of its parts First, we have the cylinder block, which is the foundation of the engine. It houses the cylinders, pistons, crankshaft, camshaft, and critical components for the engine's power generation. Then we have the cylinder head. It sits on top of the cylinder block and seals the combustion space. This part is responsible for the air and fuel mixture in the engine and also contains valves and injectors. Moving through the different systems of the engine, we have the air filter attached to the air filter housing, which is also attached to the turbocharger, which compresses the air intake and increases the density by passing it through the intercoolers. This allows for a more efficient combustion process and ultimately increases the engine's power output. The fuel system is another critical part of the engines consisting of the fuel tank, fuel filters, fuel pumps and fuel injectors. These parts work together to supply the engine with the necessary fuel to generate power. Now let's look at the exhaust system, which removes the engine exhaust gases. This system is comprised of the exhaust manifold, the turbine side of the turbocharger, and the silencers. If you watched my previous video, you would have gotten a closer look at the exhaust manifold. If not, you can check it out after watching this video. When there is combustion, you will have a lot of heat generated. This heat over time can damage engine car parts and components. So for temperature regulations, the engine is equipped with a cooling system. This cooling system comprised of the expansion tank, the coolant pump, the thermostat housing with thermostat inside, and in this case, plate coolers, one for cooling the coolant and one for cooling the oil. Because this is a marine application, the most efficient medium used for cooling the coolant is seawater. 
this seawater doesn't actually go inside the engine. Instead, it passes through a stack of plate coolers and exits overboard. Seawater will cool the coolant and the coolant will cool the lubricating oil and other components on the engine. As mentioned earlier, these engines are used in different applications. So let's take a look at a 16V 4000 series being used as a power generator in a power plant. As you can see, the MTU 4000 series engine is a complex machine made up of different critical components. Together, these components work seamlessly to generate power. So if you are ever working with one of these engines, just know you are in good hands. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember, don't know, don't touch learn first. See you in the next one.